So this one is it's called the system of equations. So the first equation, right? This is equation one. And I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna leave that alone and just write it out like this, okay? So I think I can solve this by using a, a process of elimination. The second one, I notice that I have a negative one x. If I can make that a negative three x. It would be like this, right? I could cancel the x's, and then I could solve for y, get a value for y, plug it back in, and get a value for x, okay? So the only way I can make this term equal 3x is I have to multiply, or negative 3x, is I have to multiply it by 3. But remember, whatever I do to one term in an equation, I got to do to all of them. So my 3 times negative 1x is negative 3x. What's 3 times 2y? positive 6y, and then this is a, uh, a little bit more challenging question. What's 3 times negative 19? Well, everybody knows that's negative 57, right? Duh. So we're going to add all this up. These cancel. If I have three x's in my hand and I take three away, I have zero. Now, 4 plus 6 is 10, so I got 10y. And if I add this up, 3 plus 7 is 10, carry the 1. Um, what's that? 7 plus 1 is 8. But remember, that's a negative because they're both negative values. Lastly, I'm going to divide by 10 on both sides, and I get y is equal to negative 10. Uh-oh, do you see the problem that I see? Oh, but it's not negative 10. What is it? Duh. Negative 8. Mr. Adams is, is uh... Well, I'm trying to... I'm, I'm still distraught when I... Before class started, somebody took my green tea off my desk and hit it in the corner of the classroom. I, I don't know why they would do that to me. Anyway, let me finish this problem. So now I'm going to go back. Remember, I need an X comma Y. Right? So I have the y equals negative 8. By the way, the answer is probably b, but I want to be 100% sure. So I'm going to go back to equation number 1, and I'm going to say 3 times x plus 4 times y. But what do we think y is? Negative 8 is equal to negative 23. Now, what's 4 times negative 8. It's negative 32. Uh, so, oops, I wrote that backwards. So, to solve for x, I'm going to move stuff away. To move the negative 32 away, I'm going to add 32 to both sides, right? Because I'm subtracting 32 in the original equation. To move it over, I got to do the opposite of subtraction, which is add. Um, negative 32 plus 32 is 0. 0 plus 3x is just 3x. Um, what's this? 9. 9, right? Positive 9. So then I'm going to divide both sides by 3, and I get x equals 3. So if x equals 3 and y equals negative 8, and I have x comma y, is it my answer 3 comma negative 8? Yep. Um, well, bam with the bacon sizzle.